Most of the time, you could shoot a shotgun through downtown Gibsland and not hit much. Not this week. It's his fault. We're four hours behind Clyde and Bonnie. Boots Hinton brought this couple from Atlanta, Georgia. What brings you to Gibsland? We came to see the museum. These guys drove their motorcycles all the way from Waco. Read about it, it's history. Just to hear Boots talk about Bonnie and Clyde. There was a hell of a dragnet out there. there was a Boots hell. knows plenty. You see, his father, Ted Hinton, was one of the six Texas lawmen who laid in wait for two days just off Highway 154 between Gibsland and Arcadia. Now, the story you and I have heard for years was that Beryl's friend, Henry Methven's father, sold out the outlaw couple to save his son, parking his truck and waving the couple down that fateful morning. Uh, Boots says, never happened. Horse feathers. That old man was handcuffed to a tree 75 foot behind the firing line. He was taken out of that truck at 4 o'clock that morning. But that's the story the six Texas lawmen stuck to. That so long as there was more than one of them still alive, they would leave it the way it had been written in all the newspapers, magazines, and tabloids, all of which were wrong. In 1974, Boots' father, the last of the six, revealed the truth that the six lawmen had waited for two days on that lonely road, had handcuffed the old man to a tree. At shotgun point by the four Texas officers. And there's the problem. You got four Texas officers that did that. What's their jurisdiction? Their jurisdiction ceased at the state line and the county line. They were technically guilty of kidnapping. As Paul Harvey used to say, now you know the rest of the story. And now you know why they won't be shooting any shotguns through Gibsland, Louisiana. At least not this week, as long as Boots Hinton is on the porch telling stories. Now, for Ted to say something.